that he never could have imagined. See, in the spring and summer of 1864, like the rest of the Union Army, he's marching south out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, headed down towards Atlanta. And on June 15, 1864, at a little place called Pine Knob, just outside of Kennesaw, Georgia, he was pretty severely wounded. But because this is the Union Army's supply hub, he's put on a train down there and brought right back to Chattanooga, to a hospital here. And that is where he died on June the 19th, 1864. When Ambrose Hayward, that young man, told his dad, come and see Lookout Mountain, or you will never know what wonderful deeds the American soldiers have done, he had no way of knowing that in just a few months, he, as an American soldier, would die in the very shadow of that mountain. He had no way of knowing that one day you would be able to come and see Lookout Mountain, look out across this city, and see his own final resting place at Chattanooga National Cemetery, which you can see from where you're standing. If you find the interstate here, it kind of cuts across the valley. Look, just on the other side of the interstate, about kind of halfway across the valley, uh, you'll see a big open green space with a few scattered trees. That is Chattanooga National Cemetery, where Sergeant Ambrose Hayward, the young man who wrote that letter, is buried in Section E, grave 11,428. Now, I began this presentation today by firing this weapon out across the city and asking you guys to envision what would the Battle of Lookout Mountain look like or sound like? I'm going to end by doing something very similar. I'm going to load and fire the weapon again. It should, if everything works properly, look the same, sound the same. But this time, I'm going to intentionally aim right over that cemetery. And this time, instead of asking you to envision what does the battle look like, I want you to think about what does it mean when we're, say, in a national cemetery or at a funeral service and we see those soldiers fire those weapons, those tools of war, out across that sea of headstones. Not as an act of violence, but as an act of remembrance. And I'm going to bet fire this last shot is just that, an act of remembrance out across that very cemetery where Ambrose Hayward is buried. For those of you guys that may have come up recently, uh, I am going to fire a weapon when you guys see me load. If you'd like to cover your ears, you can. I will get you guys to sit tight right there for just a few minutes. Um, Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for visiting with us here today, but I want to thank you not as Park Ranger Chris for coming out here and listening to me stammer on for 10 or 15 minutes. I want to thank you for something special that you